everybody. It's John Layfield. Welcome to the John Layfield Show. Got a lot of big news this week. The Republican convention starts very soon. News will be coming out of that. The Democrats will be going after them. It's a time of fundraising. A lot of things going on in politics. Nothing going on as far as governing the country. Uh, Congress is on a five-week break. President Obama is running for re-election. Romney, Governor Romney, is bashing President Obama. Nothing's getting done. Period. And the vitriol to me is despicable. LayfieldReport.com, sponsor the show. Go on there. You can sign up for the newsletter, get all of your news, all of these stories that I'll talk about on LayfieldReport.com. Get the news in your email every morning by signing up for the newsletter or just click on throughout the day. Constantly updated. The vitriol. Here's what I put out on Twitter this week. At J.C. Layfield is my Twitter account if you want to follow it. At Twitter this week, I put out the fact that what Hank Williams Jr. said about President Obama I think was reprehensible. And most people agreed. You got two problems. One, people say, well, that's just free speech. Okay, we'll talk about that in just a minute. And the other is the typical childish reaction of, wait a minute, what about what they're saying about the GOP? Right. See, that's the problem. You had this MSNBC host that came out this past week and used the N-word while talking. Now, he is a black guy talking about what Romney is trying to do to President Obama, that he's trying to, and he used the N-word. I'd have stopped the show, and I would have fired the guy immediately. Unbelievable. That somebody, now he works for them, says something like that. Now, they did have him come right out and apologize for it. I'd have fired him on the spot. I'd have the producer stop, fire the guy, right on air. Somewhere this vitriol has to stop. And on the other side, Hank Williams Jr. is comparing Obama to Hitler. Hitler, who killed millions of Jews. I'd have thrown him off the air right then. You see, that is no longer an opinion. That's name-calling. That's just trying to tear the other guy down by being the, the worst kid on the playground, trying to come up with the worst words to call the other person. There's no point in that whatsoever. If you disagree with President Obama, talk about the fact you disagree with him. If you think he's a bad president, say he's being a bad president. Neil Ferguson at the cover of Newsweek this week, Neil, a professor at Harvard, uh, sat with Neil about a year ago at a dinner out in Colorado. Very charming individual from Scotland. Great speaker. He's been a very good author, book writer, and writer in general. And now he's being vilified for what he says about President Obama. However, he's going after Obama's record big difference. I think you should be able to go after Mitt Romney's record. I think when Robert Gibbs sits up there, now the tons of spin obviously from this guy, that's his job. But when he sits up there representing the White House and says, Governor Romney is going to be redoing tax policy. Don't you think we have a right to know what's in his tax records? Whether he's hiding something or not? You see, that's not throwing darts at somebody, their character, calling them names just for shock value. That's a matter of open debate that's going on. This congressman uh, down in uh, the South that has this stupid rape comment, uh, this guy Aiken, you got to be kidding me. Now, I'm going to defend Joe Biden. I, I, <laughs> and this is unbelievable. I cannot believe I'm defending Joe Biden. I think Joe Biden and Sarah Palin could have a spelling contest. I mean, get up to about cat or something before they'd probably start missing words. But Joe Biden is known for gas. And when you 